Hey everybody, I hope everyone's doing great. I want to do a video on XRP and this epic meltdown, which uh, if you guys were paying attention to my videos, I don't know, a few days ago that I actually talked about a Christmas Eve crash, which I didn't know what form it was going to take. I was thinking the entire market. Obviously, it looks like it's just XRP. And I want to talk about where I'm at with XRP and why I think this is an amazing buyer opportunity, what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. Look, guys, I see a ton of absolute FUD and straight up lies coming out. Um, and it's interesting how people, the common man, uh, does listen and absorb total lies or exaggerations for sure. Like one of the lies I've seen is Ripple uh, is being delisted from exchanges. Uh, that is true. However, you're talking about literally the, the two most tiniest exchanges on earth. Do I think that this was a, um, uh, a hit job? Absolutely. Do I think it's for a specific reason? Yes. So let's dive right into it. Now, first off, this is what we do know. XRP has um, uh, been in the news because the SEC has filed a suit against it. Let's let's look at facts. S XRP, especially Brad Garlinghouse, has been leading the charge in begging or demanding the government to give them an official title is this a security is it a currency they need to know they want regulation they've been begging for it for years brad garlinghouse has been very vocal on twitter over the last couple of years begging for this right we already know that the sec has been crushing different crypto projects and the, there's two things that they all have in common they all settle out of court <laughs> they don't go to trial and they uh secondly they take money from them all right so we've already seen this is nothing new we've already seen um uh x or, or sorry the sec take on massive icos like uh eos that raised four billion dollars and they took a measly 24 million so do i know that um ripple is gonna settle absolutely it's gonna be a slap on the hand and go away but this is actually something that's a lot bigger and people don't get it because i saw one comment um on one of my uh, videos of why would uh, anyone think that the central bank is going to make a couple of these guys rich? Well, it's actually not that. See, XRP has gotten so big and it's already being allowed by other uh, countries. Their federal governments have, have deemed them either a security or a currency and they've already uh, started these massive, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, partnerships with central banks and governments right to to do cross-border uh payments or remittance payments but the thing is is what you don't realize is that our country is scared to death they're scared crapless because this is challenging the u.s dollar and this is not only challenging the dollar this is absolutely going to obliterate swift and if you guys don't know what swift is and what uh, it is it is literally how we control all currency movement throughout the earth we invented the swift system and the technology and how to move money uh across borders right and china and russia got together and built something called sips and they uh are are hurting the u.s dominance when it comes to cross-border payments but now xrp brought it to a whole different level totally different level um it could it could smash sips and swift um now look at this Coinbase and other exchanges face dilemma of delisting XRP. I'm going to tell you right now, this is straight up re just stupid FUD. Dude, how does the author of this story know that Coinbase is sitting around going, oh, crap, what do we do now? No, they're not. They're, they're, yes, I'm sure they're talking about it, but they are not stressed about it at all. Because you've seen other, uh, uh, what is it, uh, projects be taken in and raped by the sec and that didn't delist them at all so um now do i hope coinbase delists xrp absolutely because it's going to crash the price even more and the only thing that's going to crash the price is someone like yourself that goes oh i'm scared i'm going to sell at a lower price or someone going i'm going to try and sell and buy back at a lower price like i did with theta right that's my decision i'm a big man and if i uh, if it goes like it ran up higher well, then that's my decision. I just got to wait for it to come down or I move on to another project. So you can see right now XRP just being absolutely hammered. And it's funny because I tried to buy it 22 cents and I missed it by literally 80 seconds. I That dang Bitcoin transfer was taking forever and I couldn't buy it at 22. So I ended up buying it 23, sold uh, 
Jeezo within a half an hour, 45 minutes at uh, 27 cents, picked up a nice, I don't know what that was, 15, 18% gain. And then uh, looks like I am rebuying, I'll be looking to rebuy lower today. So, um, this is all absolute FUD. Now, I'm going to take you to a few different places. We're going to pop around the internet, okay? So, obviously, we're going to Ripple's story. Now, when you look at the size that they're growing, right? The global office is important because they're making themselves fluid right now throughout the globe because they can just pull out. They can literally pull out of the U.S., in a minute's notice. I don't think they're going to. I think this is actually going to force a court case and it's going to force an answer. And it, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't see the Supreme Court ruling on this because it's 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 big. Their growth is outstanding. We know that, right? But, you know, and you could look at, you know, what they're doing. And it looks like a lot of fluff, but this is what you need to do looking behind the scenes. Now, remember, whenever you read about someone, right, you have to know that everywhere they've been, they have contacts and that's what i look at because remember we're investing in the people we're investing in the team the team is going to take it somewhere or it's going to fall on its face so obviously all of these people in ripple have an amazing the board of directors have an amazing uh bio but now let's just let's just do this right let's let's look at anna or anja if i get this right hopefully we're just going to read through this anja is on the board of directors of ripple she is the now remember now too this is something really scary but scary amazing the man that brought the suit against xrp on the next day said i quit and it's not only like i put in my notice it's tomorrow is my last day that is a run for the hills kind of movement now what's really interesting about that is uh now that the sec director has left technically if this goes to court he can you know a lot of people are probably in jobs where you know something's wrong and something ain't right but you can't say anything about it because you lose your job, you lose your pension, all that kind of stuff. But now let's say you quit and you've now quit, you have your retirement and all that stuff. You could actually be called in to testify about the truth about your job and not being worried about losing it or being discredited, right? Because if you bring out the truth, I'm just saying it just almost seems like that's what's going on with this. Like this was a massive bone thrown. Because they're going to force the issue, and they got to force it fast. Because I do believe that quantum financial system was signed by Trump. I, it takes effect in January, and I do believe, just personally, this is an investment advice. Don't go whining if you buy something for $0.25 cents and it down to $0.22 cents tomorrow. Just remember, <laughs> I tried buying this for my company, um, Ripple, at or XRP, at a... Uh, 26 cents i finally had to buy it at 31 cents and then it just took off right so where we're at right now i am laughing all the way to the bank because i'm loading up nothing has changed right to me so let's look at anja's uh background former diplomat author and advisor on emerging markets anja manuel is co-founder and partner along with former secretary of state condoleezza rice former National Security Advisor Stephen Hadley, and former Secretary of Defense Robert Gates. In Rice, Hadley, Gates, and Manuel, LLC. Those are her partners. A strategic consulting firm that helps U.S. companies navigate international markets. Now just think about the brain power in that group, right? You may not agree with all of their politics. All of that aside, it doesn't matter. It's all about connections. Now, it says she is the author of the critically acclaimed The Brave New World, India, China, and the United States, right? We go back down here. Wait, let's go. This is an interesting one. Manuel was an attorney at Wimmer Hale working on corporate governance, international and Supreme Court cases. Hmm, that's interesting. And represented special committees on major corporate boards before the U.S. Congress, Department of Justice, and oh, the SEC. She's also an investment banker at Solomon Brothers. Like, guys, now think about this. Do you, <laughs> I mean, people are melting down over this. Now, I'm sorry if people borrowed money against this. And, guys, I'm, I'm going to be quite frank. What I just saw lose on my... um in my account last week on uh, last couple days on xrp i could have paid cash for a house in california i, I have but i'm seriously laughing and i'm buying more today right and i would i it's like part of me doesn't want to put out a video because <laughs> i just want to buy more so anyway um i'm okay if the price goes down guys it's okay this is normal this is totally this is 
normal business, right? So I want to bring you to the XRP rich list stats. I like watching this and I'm, I'm not bragging and I just want to be totally transparent with you. I am in the 1% okay of xrp holders so you guys can make fun joke around all day long but please if you're going to just know that when you do and you don't have at least a photo of yourself um or a real type of name on your account just know that most people think you're a total moron and you probably live with your folks either a bot or you literally don't even get out of your pajamas all day long so look at this trend now the top 0.01 percent the big now what do i attribute that to actually the company ripple right their holdings or the big boys it has been on an uptrend from uh this last october 2nd till today the average was 25 million xrp in a wallet now we're sitting at 28.5 right so we're seeing well over a 10 percent increase in the holdings of xrp right now everyone else is trending down right well let me explain that to you he's like oh it's getting worse i actually sold when xrp was at uh i bought some at 50 cents but it was because i had sold at 71 cents now we remember me talking about that in the past i didn't sell all my holdings but I was expecting some type of dip, and that dip came at 51 cents, a 50, 51 cents, and I ended up picking some up. So I increased my holdings. Now, I still have those today, so those are now worth half of what they were, right? I'm not whining. I still have, uh, you know, back in October, let's say I had, you know, 100,000 XRP. Uh, when I sold it, I had, oh, geez, uh, let's, I'm just throwing out numbers. I mean, my majority of XRP were purchased. Uh, under 20 cents just so you guys know so you could do the math there so i sold it then i i bought back took all that uh, uh and bought back at, at 51 cents so my my it, i increased my numbers dramatically uh but now i still hold all those so now in dollar value it's worth 50 percent less well that's okay because i've sold off some of my other winners and i'm buying into weakness right now and i'm okay with that now this isn't financial advice i'm not a financial investor or advisor right i didn't take those 80 hours of class to, to become an advisor and tell you to buy something that my company sells and just show you their product so i'm not that guy so i can't legally tell you to do all that stuff it's okay i'm just the crazy guy that you like to make fun of when i make a move and you think i lost money you only lose money if you sell right they say that but actually that's not really the facts see um big investors like warren buffett they sell before the crash ever happens and so they wait right so it's like theta you know you, you and remember i'm going to keep talking about these sort of interchangeably theta digibyte and xrp because they all are together in my book i'm moving from from one project to the next fluidly so uh anyway i just want to show you that this is up right but this is this is when i sold at uh gosh i wish i had a date because i guarantee you this was around set this the mid 70s right in price um then it ran up a little higher and then then you, you had down and i ended up selling i ended up selling buying at the 51 cents we had another run up and then now we're seeing a fast a really fast sell-off but what's interesting is this isn't a sell-off this doesn't go into nowhere remember these are all the tokens worldwide right so what's happening is you're seeing a rebalancing of numbers well just look at this the difference between 620,000 xrp and 28 million xrp is a big number right so as you could see this right here as this was falling people were selling this was staying steady right or i mean sorry this was going up that's all of you we can't we can't we can't we can't we can't all these little we can's right here are going into this i'm telling you right now this is going into the strong hands you are doing exactly what you hate and you are giving power to the banks and the rich people that's what it is that's just that's how i see it guys so i wouldn't stress out i would look at like right now I'm, i took a look at my portfolio i said what are my my winners right because certain projects and you're gonna hate hearing this but i mean we'll see i could be totally wrong i'm wrong all the time guys that's why you shouldn't listen to my advice but you know look at who i sold at 92 93 cents that is stellar right there boy do i wish i'd sell it today and buy xrp with it or sell this today and go buy 
digibyte with it, right? But I didn't. But I'm going to tell you right now, just so you guys know, that doesn't stay like that forever, okay? There is a cooling down period. Now, I can't tell you when, but I'll tell you right now, this is the fantasy right here volume. Look at, look at the last time. Volume ticked up. Look at what it did. Came down. And look at the price difference from what? 76 to 64. Oh, it's to, to 58. It's a pretty good percentage drop. I don't know what the numbers are. I need my trade trading uh, view account to be able to grab that percentage real quick. Same thing here. Everyone's super pumped at 54. And then they're all of a sudden going, hey, it's 37. Well, just so you know, that percentage loss and that percentage loss, and I'm just guessing right here, you know, I'm, I'm estimating, is the difference between, hey, we're on top of the world, everyone that sold's an idiot, and right back down to, like, here, right around here. No difference from there, there, I'm telling you, ooh, 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 look, remember when everyone thought they were brilliant at 44? I did, and I held on to here. I'm not doing that anymore. So anyway, um, I have traded these spikes before. I did trade this spike and it actually did me very well. Did I buy down here at five cents? I did, I did. Did I sell up here? I did. So I'm gonna do it again. Don't worry, you're gonna see a video. It's not a mocking video. Just remember when you put really mean things on YouTube, it does more than just hurt the ninja's feelings. There might be some really innocent people out there watching and they might listen to you, so. Anyway, uh, I'm joking. You're not hurting my feelings. Uh, so anyway, we're going back to XRP. <laughs> um, this this is it. This is what you should be watching. Start following this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the description below, guys. I hope this helped give you a little bit of peace. I know it's not the Christmas uh, present you are waiting for when you're watching XRP pump, but I'm telling you right now. And you know what? We're gonna do this too. Because I've been in XRP since, like, you've heard my half a penny story. Um, just remember, the first time I tried to buy XRP was at half a cent. The next day it was at two. So my first purchase was at two cents. So I've been in XRP since right there. That's when I got in. Okay? So I've seen this pump. And guys, I did sell. It was it was incredible. That's when I got into Populous. And then it came down to here. And just so you know, I missed all of this. But it's okay because I was in Populous. And you guys all know the story. It went from 30 cents to 80 bucks. This right here, just so you know. This right here, I'm kin to this. Because this is when volume started to pick up. And then it came down to here. And then it blew up again. Don't get worried, guys. This is not dumb money buying. This is institutional buying right here. Okay? It's coming. You're not going to go... The government right now with that lawsuit is not taking on all the banks and the other governments in the world. Because right now, let's say they lost. Ripple lost. And they had to give up all their XRP. It means XRP is still there. And it's still moving. The blockchain's still moving. Okay? It's It's... It's a done deal. It's it's already out there. So that's what's awesome. The only thing the government wants to do is, is grab some money. Someone wants to to put a fork in someone else politically. Don't worry. She's not done. The turkey ain't done cooking. Guys, I hope this helped you. If you know anybody that's lost money in XRP, please share this video with them. Um, I, I hope it gives you some confidence. And I'm telling you right now, when you've been in blockchain as long as I have, and I am not... An authority on this um, but I have been it for a few years and uh, you get used to these uh, ups and downs and you start to look forward to them and that's why it's so important to have cash sitting onto the side okay guys I think we're gonna have a big court uh, date I think it's gonna be a quick answer what's cool is that this is absolutely going to give Brad Garlinghouse the answer he needs are we a security are we a currency I'm hoping for currency but even if we're a security it's okay then we know which sandbox to play in with that said, guys, I hope everyone has a great Christmas. See you later.